here is another problem that I made up. Um, there's a coil, a coil of wire with a radius of eight millimeters, so it's a circle, and it has uh, 50 turns. And this is placed in a magnetic field, a uniform magnetic field of 0.3 Tesla. If I rotate the coil in some manner in the time of 0.02 seconds, what's the EMF produced around the coil? Now, the first question is, how should I orient the coil and which way should I rotate it? So remember this, uh, the flux is B A cosine theta. So I can calculate A and I know B, but what about theta? What's theta so that I can maximize this? Well, if I have the coil right here in the magnetic field, let's say is coming out of the page, I'm going to draw these dots. So that's B. Then what would theta be in that case? Well, theta would be zero. Because remember that if I have, uh, looking at this from the side, here's my coil and here's the magnetic field like that, the angle between those two is theta. It's the angle between a normal to that surface area and the magnetic field. So in this case, the angle starting off in this case would be zero degrees. Now, if I want to rotate it to get the maximum EMF during this time, I could take that coil and rotate it all the way over like that. So theta one would be zero. And at the end, if I change this and rotate it so the coil is pointing that way, then I have 180 degrees. So theta two would be 180 degrees. Now, this is not going to produce a constant EMF. We're actually going to get the average EMF, and that's fine. Okay. So I know the, I can find the initial flux, I can find the final flux, I can find the change in flux. So Faraday's law says that the EMF is equal to N times the change in flux with respect to time. So let's just plug in what we know. EMF is N, which is 50. I'm just going to write it as N for right now. And then my final flux, phi 2, is going to be B A cosine theta 2 minus the initial flux B A cosine theta 1. All that over delta T. I can factor out a B and an A. I get N B A over delta T. And then cosine, this is going to be cosine of 180 minus cosine of 0. So the cosine of 180 is negative 1. The cosine of 0 is 1. So it's going to be minus 2. So I get negative 2, which I don't really care about, uh, b in the area is going to be pi r squared over delta t. So let's plug in our stuff. Let's put in the numbers. 2, 0 0.3. I'm going to run out of room right there. Let's put it over here. EMF is going to be 2 times 0 0.3 times 50, 50 times pi times eight millimeters. So it's eight times 10 to the negative three quantity squared. All of that over 0 0.02 seconds. And what do we get? Those are not equal. Time to put it in the calculator. Drop. Okay, two enter 0.3 times 50 times pi times 8 times 10 to the negative third enter squared times and then 0 0.02 divided by and I get oh not too bad 0 0.30 volts So that would be the induced EMF. And the key here is you got to rotate this thing fast and you got to have, have a high magnetic field and a large number of turns.